Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And today is the final episode of season one of Mystery Nail Art Challenge. As you may know, if you've been here for Mystery Nail Art Challenge, we pull two items out of this bag. And they are nail art items and then we make something happen. But next season, starting next month, we're gonna do it a little differently. The bag is going into retirement and I have a spreadsheet that catalogs every nail polish I own. And I am going to use a random number picker to pull two of those nail polishes. And whatever two they are, we are gonna use to make a nail set. Gotta use both of them and then the rest of the decorating will be up to me. That's what's coming in season two, so make sure you're subscribed so you can be here for that. This is always a really fun challenge and sometimes it's not cute and sometimes it is. So let's see what we're gonna get today. Arms going in. I have a large container in my hand. Oh, okay. These are some assorted stars. They are some hollow, some solid, and a couple of sizes and different sh colors. This is fair as long as what we get goes well with it. Let's see what our second item will be. Ooh, it's so hard to choose because if I get a packet, it's probably gonna be stupid. What is it? It's nail charms, but they're not exactly complementary to the stars. Like, I certainly could have done worse, but what an odd combination this is. I guess I could use the silver ones and try and figure something out. <sighs> All right, let me gather some supplies. I'll be right back. All right, I have gathered some supplies, and I don't know how this is gonna go, but we are gonna hope for the best. Ooh, probably gonna look real crazy. First, it's Orly Bonder. And so these are the two colors I have chosen to use. We have Nails Ink in the shade Wherever I May Chrome. And we have Color Club in the shade Don't Harp On It. All right, so first we're gonna go in with the Don't Harp On It. This is going to be an interesting nail set because it has all this silver hollow. And so I'm gonna use this silver chrome as well. And it's just gonna be really strange to look at, especially since it's gonna have these sequins that really have no place being here with rhinestones. It's kinda weird, but we're gonna try and make it look cute. This is a really nice chrome polish here, this Nails Ink. I have it in a couple of shades. I think there's a gold one, and a blue one and a purple one as well. If there are more, I don't have them, but I would like to. That's really nice. Everything is going to need a second coat though because these are semi-sheer. All right, so I've got two layers of that. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna give this a few minutes to dry and then I will circle back for some top coat. Well, let me catch you up on what just happened. So, as you saw, I was just finishing up and we were gonna let that dry, but the power went out in like sprinklings all over my city. Maybe it was some sort of rolling blackout. We didn't get an explanation, but it's been about four hours since then and I've been waiting for electricity. <laughs> so it's back now and we can continue. I did, of course, go ahead and put the top coat on because I needed this to be dry while I was in the dark. So let me tell you what we're gonna do. This is a technique that someone else actually thought up and I saw it, I can't remember where, on one of these social medias or in a video or something, but anyway, sounds amazing. So these sequins, as everyone knows, sequins can be a bit hard to get them to lay down. Normally, I curve them with my cuticle pusher, but someone said, what if you put them in 
uh, foil transfer glue because it's sticky. And I'm like, that's genius. So we're gonna try it. This is Star Glue. It is a foil transfer glue that does not require a lamp. It's not gel, it just dries. So you paint it on thin and then you let it dry until it's completely clear. And that's when you know it's ready to stick things in. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with these two silver fingers because they're the ones that I wanna put stars on right away. You don't wanna do too much because this stuff does get sticky and you don't want to sit here with sticky fingers they're just gonna be sticking to everything when you're not ready to use that stickiness yet and then after we get done with these two we'll come back and potentially do that middle one so I'll be right back when that's clear all right so as you can see that is pretty well clear I think we're gonna start with this finger over here and I'm gonna turn this way so that I am less likely to stick my hand in my other fingernail. I'm gonna use this wax pencil to pick up decals as I need them. And I'm gonna try and get just one at a time. All right, so I placed it on here. Let's try and push it down. Wow, it is working so well. Look, this is genius. I wish I could remember who thought this up. That way I could credit them, because boy, how this is so smart. I don't know why we didn't think of this before. If it was you who mentioned this, by all means, leave a comment. Awesome. Very, very cool. We're going to leave that the way that it is, because I intend to add some stones around it. Let's put some over here. These ones are a little bit harder to make sure they're straight because I can't see them underneath the tip of my wax pencil but I think I got it all right and I can kind of push them around just a little bit so I think that's straight a little all right so we've got some stars on these two fingers I wonder how well a rhinestone would actually stick in this glue as well I don't know that I would feel secure with that, so I'm definitely going to use my four rhinestones only to do it. Alright, let's put some more star glue on this one, because we want to put a little bit of stars over here too, I think. These ones are starting to try and peel up, so I guess this doesn't hold super, super long. So I think what we're going to do while we wait for that one to dry is seal these in. I'm gonna go ahead with the four rhinestones only and make that the coating for this. So hopefully it'll get the sealing in pretty quickly and firmly to hold these down. I'll push this down again. I'm just gonna keep making sure that it's pushed down. It's on a pretty strong curve. Yep, it's holding so far. All right, we'll check back by those. I want to get a star put down over here, but we want small ones. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and rhinestone this one in as well. Okay, I think that's pretty good for those for now. Let's move our focus to actual rhinestone placement. Now, I am gonna do this in like super speed mode, and I may, you know stretch my talking part out over it so I'm not gonna be able to narrate as I go and this is gonna be just kind of play by ear anyway oops I put some down I thought I was recording but apparently I never actually hit the record button We've got us one blingy finger. There we go, that one's pretty jeweled up. 
Now it's time to work on this one and this charm. So let's put us a big glob here in the middle for this charm to sit in. Pick it. All right, so let's get that in place. And give it a little bit of a secure press. All right, does that look straight to you? It looks straight to me. Yeah. Alright, so we're actually going to let this one dry a moment before we go in and start adding more. So I will be right back. Okay, so that's had a moment to dry. We're going to start by putting some rhinestones around it for decoration. Let's put some underneath it. Okay. Alright, so it looks like we've got that on there pretty well. Yeah, it's quite blingy. Alright, let's move on to the pinky. This one just has these three stars, so we want to kind of keep it simple. There we go. I think that's pretty good. We don't need to overdo it. So we have four good blingy nails going, but we got to do something over here. So let's see. Do we need more? Is this too simple? I don't think so. I think that's okay. So let's assess. We have lots of bling. We didn't use that many of those hollow stars, but we did use them and you can see them glistening in there. Um, I didn't put any on the thumb because the base is hollow. And this one is hollow as well, so that's why I didn't put any in here. But I did put on these silver ones and then over here. So I think that's where we're actually going to leave this. I am going to have to go in and reinforce all of this with more four rhinestones only so that it does stay really well. But I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to get you some photos and we're going to wrap this up. All right, guys. So what do you think? of the nails that we did today. Do you think that I made use of the products given? I get it, to be fair, I did use more rhinestones that were not part of the mystery items than I did the ones that are, but like how many nail charms can you really put on? One was what it was gonna be. And then as far as those stars, they were not gonna go well into this but I did make them work and I feel like the snails came out pretty cute. You are seeing photos of them now. Um, let me know how you would have used these two items if you would have done it differently and if you would have chosen a different base color even perhaps how you would have made it work more cohesively. Also let me know what you're thinking about this upcoming season and about the idea of using the two nail polishes as opposed to two nail decorating items and then also i'm sure you did see that i have a new intro please let me know what you think of that i made it from scratch and it took a really long time and it was really fun to do and i think it's super cute it's a little bit different than what i've got already but i think it's nice and then actually there's a matching outro so stick around for a little bit longer so you can see that too and um, i think it's pretty adorable let me know what you think and thank you for your interaction, your likes, your comments, for being subscribed. It all does help the algorithm, which helps me, helps my channel grow, helps me interact with you, helps us do more. So please do keep at that. Make sure that you are sharing this video with anybody who you think may like my content. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.